we are doing a Minecraft mob battle, but we can fuse our mobs. There are going to be some awesome mob fusions in this video, so make sure you stick around till the end. All right, Kim, are you ready for today's mob fusion battle? I am super ready, and I have my mobs picked out. Wait, no, what's happening? Kim, don't you know these are not fusion mobs? Oh my gosh, so they all died. Why did they all die? Kim, in this arena, we can only use fusion mobs. Well, how do we get to the fusion mobs? Well, if you come over to this giant giant machine right here you will see that there are three little tubes what in the world are these well this is actually how you fuse your mobs so you put one of the mobs that you want to fuse in this red chamber right here so if i put this slime in here yeah then make sure you block it up and then let's come over to this yellow chamber right here all right and i'm guessing i put another mob in here yeah you can put whatever mob you want to fuse with that slime over there so i'm I'm going to put a blaze in here and then we'll block it off. And then if you come over to the green chamber, you'll see there's a lever right here. Do I just flick this or do I have to do anything else? Yeah, if you just flip this lever, it will combine the two mobs and make a special fusion. All right, well, I'm going to flick the lever in three, two, one. Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh. It works. That's super cool. And there are so many cooler fusions that are just waiting to happen. I'm so excited. I know exactly what I'm going to fuse now. Well, I'm going to go back to my side so we can start this fusion mob battle. And now it is time for round one of this fusion mob battle. And today there is no one way glass. So we are not cheating. We just have to use pure skill and have the better fusion mobs. And I think I'm I'm going to start out by combining a wolf with a skeleton. So now if we go over to the red chamber, we can just place down our skeleton and make sure that we block this up. That way nothing goes wrong in the fusion process. And now we go over to the yellow chamber and place down this little wolf and it's really cute. But now we need to block it up and hopefully my mobs are ready because I'm about to flip this lever in three, two, one. <laughs> And oh my gosh, it actually worked. We have a skeleton dog and it actually looks super scary. And hopefully this skeleton dog is a lot stronger than whatever Cam has. And I think that we need to put this mob to the test. So let's see if Cam is ready for this first round. All right, Cam, it is time for the first round. Are you ready? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure my fusion didn't go too well. Wait, what do you mean? Well, you'll see it whenever you drop the wall, but I am ready for this mob battle. Okay, well, first, I'm just gonna get rid of the glass on my chamber, and now I'm just gonna get rid of the wall in three, two, one. Here is my skeleton dog. What even is that? Well, I tried to fuse a slime and a wolf together, and that's what came out. I don't even know what that was. Did the fusion go wrong or something? What happened? I don't know. I think it took, like, the worst DNA from both of them and combine them together. I don't know why that happened. Cam, that was literally half a dog and half a slime just put together. That that wasn't a fusion. Oh, I put them in the right containment area. I put a dog in that one and I put a slime in that one and then I clicked the fuse button and then it came out as that. Wait, you put a dog in the red one? That's not where the dogs go. The dogs go in the yellow one. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a mom goes in that one and then a mom goes in that one and then you click it and then it works. Well, Cam, you know what? It's fine. We just need to set the wall back up so we can get to round two and start doing more fusions. And now it is time for the second round. And I have a pretty cool idea. Pretty cool in the literal sense. I am gonna combine some snow mobs. So I wanna grab an ice giant and I wanna grab a Yeti. And while I'm combining these mobs, make sure you comment down below your favorite fusion from this video and I will make sure to pin my favorite comment. So in this red chamber, we wanna have the Yeti and let's make sure to block it back up. Up. And then in the yellow chamber, we want to have this ice giant. And now let's just close it back up again. And hopefully my mobs are ready because this fusion is going to be insane. So let's flip the lever in three, two, one. Please work. 
Oh my gosh, it worked. We now have a boss that's called Frostma. And this is a really cool snow boss. And hopefully whatever Cam has is not as powerful as Frostma. So I think that we are actually ready for this second round. So let's see if Cam is ready so we can start. All right, Cam, time is up. And hopefully your fusion is as cool as mine. Well, my fusion actually worked this time. So I'm happy about that, but it's not as strong as I thought it would be. Oh, well, that's a bad sign because my fusion is actually super strong. Oh my gosh. Hopefully mine's just a tiny bit stronger. I definitely want to win this. Well, before I take down the wall, I need to get rid of the glass for the fusion chamber. And Cam, are you ready for me to take down the wall? Yeah, I am ready. And my mob is ready as well. There's no way I lose this, right? I don't know, but I'm going to get rid of the wall in three, two, one. Here is my my frost mod. Cam, is that your mob? Yeah, I fused a diamond block with a slime and it should be super strong. You fused a diamond block with a slime? Yeah, I thought it was going to be so much better. Why? Uh... Cam, you can fuse anything and you fused a slime again? Yeah, I, I thought the slime was going to be super fast and bounce all over the map. And I thought the diamond was going to help make it super, like, strong and be able to absorb attacks. And it's going to be super, like, awesome and cool. But then it died in one hit. I can't believe this. Well, you know what, Cam? For the next round, I'll give you some extra time. That way you can get a super cool fusion ready. And I think that we can just set this wall back up and get ready for round three. And now it is time for round three of this fusion mob battle. I don't know what Cam is doing. Keep spawning in slimes, but I have a pretty cool fusion up my sleeve. So from my creative inventory, we can just grab an angler fish and a strider. I think that's what it is. Yeah, there we go. And I have to do this fast because the angler fish is a fish and there's no water around here. And I don't want to put water in the machine and mess up the fusion machine. So I need to do this really fast. So if I I just put the strider in the yellow container and then I block it back up. Wait, why did a pig man spawn? I can't have more than one mob in here. You need to get out. Okay, well now with the strider in the yellow container, I can come over to the red container and place down the anglerfish and hopefully be fast enough to do this fusion. So let me place down the anglerfish and block it up. And now I need to run into the fusion. Hopefully you guys are ready because I'm about to fuse in three, two, one, and it's starts. And yes, it worked. We have a anglerfish and a strider fusion this long looks super scary. And I said I was going to give Cam a little bit of extra time. That way he can get a super cool fusion. But I want to cheat a little bit and see what he's actually doing. So if we go to this side of the bedrock wall, we can just click F5 and try to peek behind it and see what he's doing. Oh, I can see an iron golem in his red container. But he still hasn't fused yet. So I need to wait a little bit to see what his fusion ends up being. And it's been a little bit. So I want to see if Cam actually finished his fusion, so let's just come over to the bedrock wall and let's peek around with F5. And oh, there is something in there. What even is that? It looks like a jungle golem. Hang on, I need to do something really risky. I need to zoom in with Optifine, and yeah, that's definitely a jungle golem. And I think Cam is actually in there with his mob. Yeah, that's definitely a jungle golem. Okay, I know what mob he has, and I don't think the jungle golem is stronger than my anglerfish strider. But now that Cam is done, let's see if he is ready for this third round. Cam, it's time for round three. I gave you some extra time so you can get a super cool fusion and I hope you used it well, but are you ready? I am super ready. I honestly think I'm gonna win this though. Well, hopefully your mob is super strong and can beat my amazing fusion. But the first thing I have to do is get rid of the glass for this fusion chamber. And now if you're ready, I could get rid of the wall. I am ready, so go ahead and get rid of the wall. All right, Cam, I am gonna get rid of the wall in... No, Captain, I'm getting rid of it right now. And here's my anglerfish strider. Oh, well, here is my jungle planks golem thing. And oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh who's gonna, gonna win? win? Yes! 
first. No, I thought my jungle golem was gonna win. Well, to be fair, my strider anglerfish was like eating him the entire time. Yeah, but I thought he was gonna be super strong. He has like some cool attacks that I seen, but I guess your mob was just better. Yeah, and look at how scary it looks. Yeah, honestly, I do not want to see that anymore. Can you please get rid of it? Yeah, we can just get rid of this and we can get ready for the fourth round. I'm so excited. These mobs are already so cool. Yeah, well, they're going to get a lot cooler with these final two rounds. And now it is time for round four. And these fusions are super cool, but they are about to get even cooler. And I think I just thought of a pretty cool fusion. So I just need to grab some mobs. So the first thing I need is a rattlesnake and then I need a witch. And if we just go over to the red chamber, we can place down this rattlesnake and lock it in. And now let's go over to the yellow chamber and we can place down the witch and then lock that in. And hopefully you mobs are ready because this fusion is gonna be insane. And yes, it worked. We have like a Medusa lady and she looks super scary. And I actually don't want to look at those snakes because I don't want to be turned to stone. But hopefully this mob is going to be so overpowered that it'll just immediately turn Cam's fusion into stone. And I got to remember not to look at the snakes because I don't want to be turned into a stone statue. But now with my fusion complete, let's see if Cam is ready for this fourth round. Cam, are you done fusing? your mobs for this fourth round yeah i'm ready and my mob is super cool i didn't even know this mob existed but i think it's definitely gonna win against your mob well cam don't be so confident because my mob is insanely cool well whenever you're ready you can jump the wall because my mob is already ready for the battle well the first thing i have to do is get rid of the glass on the fusion chamber and i can just get rid of this wall in three two one here is is my snake witch. Well, my mom is in the arena and I want to know if you can see him. Your mom is in the arena. Yeah, Nick, you may have to look up though. Look up? Wait, what is your mom doing? Well, I don't know, but it's hanging on up here, but I think it just needs a little push to get off. Come on, go fight. Cam, what kind of mob is this? What did you even fuse? Well, I fused like a grizzly bear and some sort of like spider thing. I don't even know what it was, but it it looks super scary, but produce this and now it can climb on nothing. And oh my gosh, what just happened? It dropped down and immediately turned into stone. What happened, Nick? Well, that is the power of my mob. It can turn anything into stone. It can even turn you into stone if you go into survival mode. Well, I don't want to do that, but I do want to try this fusion again. And Nick, are you ready? Because I'm going to fuse my mobs again and hopefully this works. And oh my gosh, it worked. And look, my Why mom is, is it up there again. Ceiling? Well, it's the same mob. So let me set the air and let me just pull it out. Oh, and, and oh look, my they're gosh, fighting. they're fighting. And oh my gosh, it just immediately got turned to stone again. No, I thought it was going to do so much more damage. Well, Cam, do you know what that means? That means you won. Yeah, but it also means it is time for the final round. I I'm so excited. Let's go. And now it is time for the final round of this fusion mob battle. And we need to pull out all of these greatest mobs and make the best fusion ever. And I think I have a pretty cool idea for a fusion. So first I need an iron golem and then I need some redstone blocks. And you'll see why in a second. So first in the red chamber, we are going to spawn in the iron golem and let's just block it back up. And then then in the yellow chamber, we are just going to place down a bunch of redstone blocks. And now we can just block this back up. And if this fusion works, it'll spawn in a super cool mob. So hopefully this works, please. And yes, it worked. We have a giant redstone golem that will now fight for us for this final round. And this thing looks sick. And right now it's not powered on because there are no enemies that it is attracted to. But whenever Cam finishes his fusion, this redstone golem will turn on and it will be super cool. Oh, and look, it just turned on. So I think that means that Cam finished his fusion. So let's see if he is ready for this final round. All right, Cam, are you ready 
for this final round of this fusion mob battle. Yes, I am ready and my mob came out perfect. I'm so excited for this. Well, my mob came out perfect too. So if you're ready, I'm just going to drop the wall. I am ready. So go ahead and drop it. All right. Well, first I need to get rid of the glass on the fusion chamber. And now we can just get rid of the wall. Oh my gosh. What are your mobs? Well, this is a redstone monstrosity and these are its summons and your mob is already dead. Oh my gosh. I didn't even stand it chance i didn't even get to see my mob in action well if you want you can put the wall back up and then we could try a rematch with all these summons all over the place i don't think i could stop this because my mob spawned these in oh well then i guess that means we should just head on to the outro yeah let's get ready for this outro all right, Cam, if you're ready, come to my side so we can film this outro. Oh, and wait, Cam, before we actually film this outro, I have one more idea for a fusion. Oh, that sounds super cool. What is it? Well, let's just go over to this yellow chamber right here, and I'm just going to grab a cod and put it in there. And now let's go over to the red chamber. And for the sake of science, you should just step in there. Um, I'm not too sure about being fused with a fish, Nick. I don't know about this. It's going to be fine. Trust me, this is going to be the best fusion ever cam are you ready to be fused i'm ready all right i'm gonna fuse in three two one oh my gosh yes it worked why did you do it me let me out you are a tiny little blobfish but i think that's gonna be the final fusion for this video so if you did enjoy then make sure to subscribe for daily no, mob battle help videos me, help me. i'm dying i'm drowning oh, uh, kim i don't think i can actually get in there to save you in time i'm sorry uh but if you subscribe you might be able to help cam and we'll see you tomorrow bye